All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed. They're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open. The other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Welcome to problem 86A. This is a selling and administrative expenses budget. Uh, when I read these, I, I do think of them as almost a reading comprehension test. I don't think you need to be very creative to solve this one. I don't think you need to be puzzling through things in your mind. You just have to read carefully and, and logic your way through it because it's it is fairly logical, this budget. Let's read it. The budgeted unit sales for JANA Corporation for the upcoming quarter are as follows, and there's our unit sales. Uh, the company's variable expenses include shipping, sales commissions, and other. The company's fixed expenses include advertising, executive salaries, and depreciation. If you watch the previous video on an overhead budget, you'll know depreciation is kind of special. We're going to include it in our total expenses, but we're going to take it out at the end because it doesn't involve cash, and we're often interested in knowing uh, what our total expenses are and our cash disbursements are. Uh, it says also executive bonus payments of 25,000 will be made in July and September and a major building repair of 35,000 will be paid in August. Okay, so we have our marching orders. Let's get to it. We'll start with a title and the title is three lines starting with the name of the company, Jana Corporation Selling and Admin Expenses Budget. And this is for the, what is it? Quarter, for the quarter ended. September 30th. And so we have July, August, and September as our three months in this quarter. And our total column, which is for the quarter co total. So we're going to start with our variable expenses, then we'll do our fixed. And our variable expenses are shipping, $2 a unit. So for July, $2 a unit, $30,000, or 30,000 units rather, 2 times 30, 60. For August, 2 times 25, 50. And for September, it was 2 times 22, which is 44. 60 plus 50 plus 44, $154,000. That's our very, oh my goodness, variable expenses was supposed to be a heading. <laughs> Good grief. Variable expenses was a heading. This should all be down one, but we're, we're gonna be fine. Variable expenses was a heading. Then the first one is variable shipping. Next is variable sales commissions. And our sales commissions were $5 a unit. So again, we're just going to go 5 times 30, 5 times 25, and 5 times 22. 5 times 30, 150. 5 times 25, 125. 5 times 22, 110. Wow, I'm doing this in my head. I hope I'm right. Yeah, 5 times 22. So in total, Nah, I'm not going to be able to do this. 5 times 77 is 385. Last one on our list, other. And of course, 6 times 30 for July, so it's 180 in July. 6 times 25, so it's 150 in August. And 6 times 22... 132? 132 in September. Uh, and in total, 6 times 77, 462. Okay, so let's total these up. 
to get our total variable expenses. Sixty plus one fifty plus one eighty two ten plus one eighty is three ninety. Fifty plus one twenty five plus one fifty two uh, three twenty five. Uh, forty four plus one ten plus one thirty two. I should be able to do this, but I don't trust myself. Two eighty six, and last one fifty four plus three eighty five plus four sixty two. One, oh, oh, one, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so there's our total variable expenses. Because we're not done, I'm not going to put a dollar sign or a double underline here. This is just total variable, I guess I should say, selling and admin expenses. Uh, now let's do our fixed selling and admin expenses. And we'll just do them as we see them. Advertising, executive salaries, and depreciation each monthly. Advertising, 75, 75, 75, and this is 225 if we add those three together. Uh, executive salaries, 90. Executives always pay themselves a lot of money. 90, 90, 90, and 270 and last depreciation twenty 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 and you add those together and you get sixty. Okay, so those are all of our fixed monthly expenses, but there's these other two kind of oddball ones at the bottom. We've got executive bonuses. 25 grand in July and September. Let's do that. July 25 grand, September 25 grand, and that's executive. Oh my goodness. I'm having a hard time spelling executive. Executive bonuses. 25, 25 is 50. And last, we had that special repair coming up major building repair, building repair of 35. And that was in August. Okay, that's it, right? We're not missing anything. So let's add these up. Total. Fixed. Selling and admin. Expenses. Uh, let's see, 75 plus 90 plus 20 plus 25, 210. This is exact same except for it's plus 35, so this is going to be uh, 220. This one's 210, it's the exact same as uh, July. And adding up, 210 plus 210 plus 220 gives us 6 40. Okay, so we've got our total uh, uh, variable. We got our total fixed. Let's add variable plus fixed. Here's our variable. Here's our fixed. Let's add them together for our total selling and admin expenses. 210 plus 390, that's 600. 220 plus 325, that's 545. 210 plus 286, that's 496. And adding this across, well, I guess I'll do it this way. 1001 plus 640 is 1641. Okay, so there we'd be done. That's a selling and admin budget, except for this. It says required, prepare the company's selling and admin budget for the upcoming quarter. Yes, done. Disclose both total selling and admin expenses. That's done. Total selling and admin expenses right there, 1641. And cash disbursements for selling and admin. So what we said at the start was depreciation is kind of special. It needs to come back out, right? This 20,000 needs to be backed out. So we just deduct depreciation. So 
So it is a legitimate expense. It just doesn't involve cash. Where all these other ones, you know, shipping. Oh my goodness, what happened there? Shipping, sales commissions. We're paying somebody, right? Money is changing hands there. Depreciation, no money changes hands. So that's why we back it out. We say, okay, there's no cash being paid for this expense. Deduct 20,000, deduct 20,000, deduct 20,000. And that's 60 in total. So 600 minus 20, 580. 545 minus 20, 525. 496 minus 20, 476. 1641 minus 60, 1581. And there we have it. Cash paid for selling and admin expenses. Dollar signs here because these are all bottom lines. And ladies and gentlemen, it was a long journey. This is a big question, but we did it. That's all for this problem. If this video is helpful or any of my videos are helpful, I appreciate any likes or subs I can get. Thank you so much for the support and good luck in your studies. Bye for now.